What is going on guys, Gray here. Today I'll talk about the update we received here on PlayStation and Xbox. I will link the patch notes down in the description below for both platforms. Uh, this was kind of a unexpected update. I really didn't expect us to get this many patch notes with today's update, but we did. A lot of this stuff is just kind of small UI fixes and things. So I'm not going to go into detail about every single thing, but I'll kind of hit on the high points of the patch notes. The first thing that they really talked about was with companions. Once again, they fixed an issue that companions could load in before their equipped gear. Fix an issue where companions could unintentionally gain experience for after completing a dark anchor event. Companions will now more reliably turn to face their enemy when in combat. This was an issue with the last update. It's still been an issue. Hopefully it is fixed now. They also fixed a rare issue that could result in a character display issue when exiting the outfit station after outfitting one of your companions. Also, some other things they did within Blackwood. They fixed the survey reports uh, in Blackwood. Now the clusters should be closer together. I talked about this in a video a while back. Uh, those clusters were very far apart. Sometimes you'd go in and do the, your ore survey and you'd have to look for a while, even with your silk, whatever the case may be. They did not mention if they fixed the issue of them being kind of stuck down in the ground where you can't see them. I'm hoping that has been fixed as well. Also, when it comes to main quest and zones, all main quest in Blackwood will now be displayed as a main story. Uh, updated the interaction cameras for writ boards found in Leowin, and you can now travel to group mates within Deep Scorn Hollow. Also, some other things they did was monsters in the Oblivion portals will now spawn quicker. Also, the ogre champions in the uh, Zanarthi's Abbey uh, uh, public dungeon will now not get into that state where you cannot target them. That was an issue. I don't know if you guys have experienced that. It didn't happen all the time, but there was a point where you couldn't target them, and of course, pretty much made it impossible to be able to do that boss within that public dungeon. Also, they fixed a lot of quests within Blackwood and some other zones as well. Uh, just some, you know, issues with what the characters were saying, some issues that were, weren't allowing you to do certain things, uh, re-enter certain areas, just a lot of bug fixes pretty much within some of these different, uh, you know, quests along the way. Also for Greymore, they fixed an issue where Lost Souls and Harl Storms would face your companion and not move towards the Witch Pike. I haven't done a lot of horror storms uh, since, you know, the Blackwood update, but I have heard people talking about they were having issues if they had the companion out while doing those. Uh, red torch bugs will now have a chance to drop a torch bug thorax. That was something else that I was kind of curious about because I found a lot of red torch bugs and I never got a torch bug thorax out of any of them. I thought maybe it was a very rare drop or something, but apparently it was not working as they intended it to be uh, or intended it to. Fixed an issue where the sun flare iron wolf mount did not have the light visual effects. And also updated the text on the sweet roll furnishing to reflect that the version acquired with Seals of Endeavor cannot be converted into crown gems. A lot of people thought they were going to be able to just convert that into user seals to be able to buy the sweet roll and then get crown gems. And apparently that was worded wrong, so that's not the case. You cannot convert that into crown gems. Uh, most achievements and endeavors that increment with a kill and do not require a specific type of killing blow will now increment the with assist as well as killing blows. Also some miscellaneous fixes fixed an issue that could cause a crash if monsters died out uh, after one of the attackers left the area. Uh, fixed a rare crash that occur when changing zones or logging out while also changing the member or changing members in your group, including the player that left the group. Uh, some other things that they fixed was some UI errors. They fixed a UI error that would appear with certain related skills. Fixed an issue where searching a bank could result in a menu navigation issue when equipping weapons, fixed an error that could occur when you're selecting appearance in the companion menu, and also fixed an error that could occur when exiting the guild trader while previewing an item. And last but not least, they talked about fixing an issue that showed the ability bar timers could display large values for a stack and counts above abilities. Uh, so I'm sure some of you guys have seen if you have your bar timers on now that would have a stack of like one, two, three sometimes on some of your, uh, you know, some of your ability bars. And that was, I guess, not supposed to be there at all. Uh, they did not mention if they fixed some of the ability timers not working correctly. I'm not sure if all of you have noticed. If you use uh, the, the main character I have uh, noticed it on is any of my magic characters that I have, you know, a wall down or anything down uh, on, on the ground, even my healer, if I put my wall down, that a lot of times that that bar timer will not work. Sometimes you'll switch bars and it'll be fine. Sometimes it won't work and doesn't show your timer going down or counting down. I'm not sure if this had some kind of issue with, you know, the stack showing there and that's why it wasn't working correctly or not. But they did not mention that, and I'm hoping they will fix that soon because it is very annoying that we have bar timers now, but some of them do not seem to work as intended or correctly all the time. Anyway, guys, like I said, if you want to read over these patch notes for yourself, they will be linked down in the description. Leave me, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, 
Uh, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.